Hello and welcome to Industrial Valco University. I'm your professor, Professor Jim, as you get your PVF degree for free. All right, we're going to talk about fittings today. What are fittings? What are they made of? What do we need them for? Well, let's be pretty quick on that. First off, there's really two main purposes to the fitting, and this is a piece of pipe. And if you wanted to connect it with another piece of pipe, you would use a fitting. The other main area that you would use is if you needed to put a stop to this. If you needed to stop the flow or cap it off, you would use a fitting. We will talk about how that works and what that includes and entails in just a bit. All right, what are these uh, products that you see before I me? Mean, what are they made of? Well, there's two different types. There's ferrous materials and there's non-ferrous materials. The ferrous are more of the iron base, so you've got your carbon steel, your cast steel. The non-ferrous is a bronze or an aluminum. So ferrous, steel, non-ferrous, your bronzes and your aluminums. Now there's three real main purposes for what we have a fitting for. The first one is simply enough to combine two pieces of pipe and make it a straight run. What we'd use for something like that is a coupling. We'll discuss deeper into detail what kind of couplings you can use and what you can get. But for now, let's just discuss this simple coupling right here. This one has threaded sides on the inside. And what you would do is if you had a piece of pipe that you just wanted to connect with another one and the both of them had threaded ends, you would use a coupling. So say now you wanted to change the direction, the second main purpose, you wanted to change the direction of the medium or the media, should I say, that's going through the pipe. You would use either a the 22 and a half, the 45, the 90, and then everybody's favorite. Who doesn't love a 180? Now those numbers that I just gave you actually go together with the degrees that you would change the direction. So again, as we use the overhead camera, the 180, the 90, the 45, and then the 22. All right. So now you know the first one, which is to connect two pieces of pipe. The second one, which is to change the direction. And the third is to stop the flow. And we'd use either a cap, this is a two inch cap. So if the flow is going through this two inch, you then would put the two inch cap. Let me get an overhead of that bad boy. So you can see. Or if you wanted to plug it and it was a screwed inside, then you'd use something like this, which this is a square head plug and then you would stop the flow. So again, the cap or the plug would be used to stop the flow. All right, there's three different kinds of ends for most pipe fittings. The first one is a uh, butt weld. So if you look at this 90, we'll use our two inch pipe again. The really the star of this episode, the two inch 90 would then go right here, it would butt up against it and then you would weld it and now you have a change of direction. So that's one style. The other one is a threaded. So in this situation, you use, let's use this big old uh, 90. We're gonna change the direction. You would thread it in like this. If you can go to the overhead. I wanna show the inside threads on this too. There we go. Okay, perfect. And then the last one is a socket weld. Now the socket weld, this is a two inch socket weld forged steel. I wanted just to show quickly kind of something that was interesting It caught my eye. These are both for two inch runs, but if you look, one looks bigger than the other. That's just because one is going to be connected with a socket weld. The other one is going to be connected with a thread. Now, the next question is, how do we know what the thread is? How do we know if it's a male thread or a female thread? Now there's two different kinds. If we get our nipple again, this is a male threaded nipple. The thread is on the outside, male, thread outside, female thread inside. So the female side here, and then to connect, simple enough. There it is, look at that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now you have learned where they come from, why we have them, the different ends that we use. What's next, you ask? My favorite time. Industrial Valco University presents, did you know? The run is the portion continuing in a straight line. For example, if you brought out a T, this is a T, um, the run would be this portion right here, the straight line, the branch. The branch would be this portion on the T, which has an inlet or an outlet. So the media would either be coming through it 
or it'd be leaving. Inlet, outlet, that's the branch. Run, branch. Now, the run and the branch can be the same. For example, this right here is a two by two by two. I'll put it right here. Two inch by two inch by two inch. The run and the branch, the inlet outlet, are all two inches. This T being a three by three by two. This is also considered a reducing T. So to review, today we learned about the following. We learned about fittings. We learned about the different types of fittings. We learned about what they are made of, why we have them, and the three main purposes that go with a fitting. We also talked about the three different kinds of ends, the difference between a male and a female thread, the run, the branch, the inlet and outlet of a T. We also talked about the difference between a true T, a reducing T, and of course, we learned a little bit about ourselves along the way. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about fittings today. You know, I get a lot. Professor Jim, you've taught me so much about fittings or flanges or valves. Where can I buy these items? Well, we just happen to have the spot for you. If you go to ivalco.com, you can get access to all of this inventory 24-7. Also, you can go to the old Google machine, put in industrialvalco.com. You'll find one of eight locations conveniently located near you. And we'll get you these items and much, much more with Speedability, which is in stock, air-free shipments or will call in two hours or less. Have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you do not miss a class. Also, be sure to go to ivalco.com where you can get more information and resources for the items that you saw and also have the opportunity to purchase these items with our 24 seven online ordering. Also be sure to visit our partners at the American Supply Association or ASA.net for additional training and courses that are tailored for all areas of the supply chain management.